In the high pack shell, soundings can be displayed as fonts or as vectors, and there's several different styles. Here we're displaying the soundings as a font. And there's one item here that prevents sounding overwrite. If you look at this little area right here and you apply that, it's just going to hide any kind of conflicts. That has absolutely nothing to do with any post processing, it's just the display engine inside the high pack shell. So we'll still use all the soundings when you go to a final product or an interim edit editing process. Well, you can also display the soundings by vectors. I'm going to apply that. So now as you scroll in and out, the soundings will maintain their proportional size so you can be able to tell if there's overwrites or not. F9 to get back to the settings. Let's go back to soundings. Right? There's different angle presentations. Fixed angle where I could rotate all my soundings a certain angle if I wanted to. I don't want to. All right, the styles we'll take a look at in a second, and the colors, I can assign different colors to different soundings, or to, to, to different files. The resolution and the rounding rules. So I'm going to come over here where there's this quick drop down where I can get the sounding style. Right now it's decimal point in the mark, where the decimal point is the location. Cartographic, we'll write a smaller lower fraction. The Spanish Navy, right, puts a decimal point and then a smaller lower fraction. There's also the Russian style which puts a marker at the sounding location, writes the sounding off to the right. And then for multi-beam data, sometimes it's useful just to display the soundings as pixels, where you can control the size of the pixels inside of here. I can say the size 3 and apply, so they'll show up a little bit better. Likewise, all everything we've done so far is also available up inside of here. For the color of the soundings, you can go ahead and assign them color coded by depth, or you can set the color palette. You can have color coding for different files. So here, if I right click on this one, I can set the color. Let's say I want to make that red. Then when I say color by file, they'll all be whatever you've associated with that file. You can use the ECTIS color scheme, right? color by C but ID, or color by this height above or below the channel design. So a lot of different options for the display of your soundings.